Hello everyone, um, this is Leanne Jaco here for Two Sisters Art. So Tanya contacted me and wanted to know whether I wanted to do something with the art sampler box for you guys and of course I jumped at the chance, I mean who wouldn't? Um, so yeah, so this is just me unboxing it. Sorry I didn't have autofocus on as you can see. So yeah, everything wasn't in focus when I was doing the unboxing. So we've got some really cool colours and, and stuff in this. Like I, I love, love Atelier products. Um, apart from them being Australian made, the quality is just awesome. So we've got the heavy gel in there um, in a satin which is different. I've always used a gloss or a matte so satin's a bit different. Some little spot cards, the Posca pens, the Sharpie, the paint brushes and then those stamps and then of course the colours. Now I got a burnt sienna, a yellow ochre and a aralide yellow deep. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong because why can't they just call these things normal names. Well anyway, okay so here we go. Um, now my desk is under, my art sort of studio desk is under this window. And at the moment the sun's in the wrong position so no matter what I did with the window open it was nice and sunny but I had lines and shadows everywhere so I'm trying to do it with the light so it doesn't actually break it as well as what I wanted. So just bear with me for that one. But anyway, okay, so what I thought I would do would use the big tag that came in the set and I sort of wanted to make just a little series of three. Um, am I happy with the end result? kind of but I learned a lot and I actually have some little techniques in here that I am definitely definitely going to try again um, yeah so let's get going so I'm just sticky taping with masking tape the three tags together and then I go off for a minute and do some sewing so originally I was just going to sew around the masking tape bits this come from a, a DD Catron tags that book that she's done and I really really love the effect of it. Um, I use masking tape a lot actually so and then I'll put some masking tape so I've sewn around the edges um, a bit of randomly and no I don't cut the strings off I really like the effect of them. Um, yeah it's a little bit messy I'm a bit messy. So then I'll just put down masking tape down and then I've just got this um, the gel and what I'm going to do is I've just got a palette knife just layering it up there in a couple of random spots. Oh well, kind of random but obviously I was thinking about it sort of at the time. And then with my stamps I actually cut them in half so that the two different designs were on two different stamps so I didn't have to worry about getting one where I didn't want it. So I'm just using the hexagon chicken wire one there and I've just laid it into the gel medium while it was still a little bit wet. Um, now I'm just drying it off a little bit and then I'm just going to layer some of the paint over the top of it. It's a really really lovely effect because it actually the paint pools in parts of it in the impression part and then it resists in other parts. So I actually do like using gel medium as a resist product um, in a lot of my work. So you, if you follow me at all you know, or have seen any of my stuff you'll see that I do do a lot of resist and I'm I love 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 texture so anything to create some texture so I just watered down some of the colors there so I started off with the ochre um, and yeah just watered it down just applied it on sprayed some water on it and then dried it off a little bit and then I went in with the burnt sienna so you probably can't see the actual texture that's been created until the end um, but it is there so then I got the the deep yellow and then I mixed some of that modeling paste um, modeling paste heavy gel with it and then scraped it around as well so that sort of adds another dimension to the whole piece so I don't know about you mix other mixed media artists out there but drying things is the bane of my existence I'm a really fast creator so I think the whole project probably took about half an hour um, so yeah things usually I don't allow them to dry properly 
I very rarely let anything naturally air dry. It's just not me. So what the yellow is there, um, I've just used, it's just a crackle paste. Um, but you can use the Atelier, it's the heavy gesso in the white. It is fantastic, that gesso. So um, yeah, it's really heavy and then it cracks really nicely if you add wet mediums over the top of it, it's just delicious. As I said, I, I do love the Atelier products. So now I'm just using the other stamp, which is the one that's sort of more dotty, I guess you could say. I don't know how to describe it. And I just stamped with the, some of the burnt sienna there. So now I'm going to add my item, my tissue, my serviette, one of the cactus, cacti, cactus. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I've just wet the edges of it. So I cut it out at really roughly and then I'm just wetting the edges and tearing the tissue paper so that there's not that stark contrast between the tissue paper and um, the background. So when you add it in, it sort of does blend in pretty well. Now I did think about, I thought, oh, idiot. I was supposed to take the background piece of paper off before I tried to do this and I forgot, which is what I do all the time. So there's the background bit and that's stuck down and then I had to reapply the cactus. So again, I just use that same gel. So I didn't, like the only thing that I added out of the sampler box was the two little tags, the masking tape and the stitching. Everything else is in this pack. So it's a great pack, really great. So then I'm just blending in that cactus wing with the background, just adding some more. Oh, sorry, I used the crackle paste too. That wasn't in the box. But yeah, it's really simple little set of tags. Um, so then I've got the little sentiment that was on there. I'm um, just cutting it out. I like strips. I hate, I don't know, not hate, that's a very harsh word. But I prefer strips journaling. Um, so usually if there's a big quote or something, 99% of the time I will cut it out into strips. So this is all I'm doing here, then thinking about where it goes. And then again, I'm just going to apply it with that same heavy gel medium. And then, oh sorry, I added a bit more crackle paste because I thought it was a bit dark. And then if you watch, I will cover it up again. I really, you just don't know how my brain works sometimes, but anyway, oh, we'll just let it be. Oh yeah, and I stitched on those little, it's just calico tops, I suppose, that I added to it. And then stitched all around the outsides of them as well to join it all together. And then, yep, just applying those now, the little sentiment. And then I will just water down some more, I think I used the oxide, the ochre, sorry. Um, yes, I did. Water it down a little bit and then just do a wash over the journaling words so it's not so stark. And then I will just use the paint pen to go, the Posca paint pen, they're awesome. Um, to box up, I suppose, square, outline, make the journaling stand out. <laughs> and then I tried to like really, really, you know, get a heap of paint out of that paint pen to do splatters. It just wasn't working. It wasn't my day. Probably because it's a brand new pen and I haven't managed to kill it yet. So I just got some a brush with some little bit of water and then did the splatters with that. And you know what? It's pretty much done. So I was thinking now, I was thinking, do I do the back or do I not? So I didn't. I haven't done the back. So there you go, I'll leave you with some close-ups. So thank you so much to Tanya and Wendy and Selena for letting me have a go and we'll chat later, bye.